In the past few days, we've seen some incredible surfing pictures as monster waves lash the WA coast. But what does it take to capture those spectacular images? Michael Thompson caught up with a Perth filmmaker who's risking it all to record them. We watch in awe, marvel at the sheer size and power of these mountains that rise from the sea. It's quite weird. I mean, you've got beautiful water, you've got clean ocean, and then you've got 20-foot monsters coming through that could kill people. And as you see in the vision, they look quite nice, but if anyone was caught in that, you know, you're put underwater for 30 seconds and uh, could break legs, arms, anything. Carsten Reimers is a young West Australian filmmaker. Surfing is his passion. The bigger the waves, the better. Last weekend, with that once-in-a-decade swell, he headed south, jumped on his jet ski to shoot the famous break, the right, near Denmark. They're easily the heaviest um, pieces of ocean I've ever seen. I mean, it's just such a raw swell and you can see it coming in for so far and, and for it to unload on the reef is just, you know, an amazing experience. It's an extreme sport, but does he put his life on the line to get those amazing shots? You know, I couldn't feel more comfortable sitting in the channel on a ski. I mean, you could sit there, have a latte and, and watch some of the biggest waves go down that you'll ever see in your life. And, and people are risking their lives and, and, you know, from our perspective, it's quite safe. And that's the surreal feeling about it is you're sitting in a channel where, you know, people could, could get really badly hurt on these waves. Carsten describes the weekend as a dream come true, though not everything went to plan. He's been working on virtual reality images which make it feel like you're actually surfing these huge waves. At the right, he mounted six cameras to give a 360 degree experience. Surfer Mick Corbett agreed to be a part of it, but like the surfers, even cameramen can have wipeouts. It went pretty bad. Um, I mean, the risk was worth it because it would have been the most incredible virtual reality experience I've ever been a part of. Um, but on the first First wave, and it wasn't even one of the bigger waves. That just goes to show how powerful these waves were. The mount snapped and sunk to the bottom of the ocean. $5,000 worth of cameras gone. Carsten says it was well worth the risk. One day he'll get those monster 3D shots. As for his next project, next big project, I'll keep an eye on the swell charts and hopefully, you know, get something similar. Um, maybe, maybe the once-in-a-century storm or something like that. Michael Thompson. Nine News.